All right, hole 15. Uh, I'm having some fun. I don't know about you. Even par, pretty good about that. I haven't played a lot of golf yet this year. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And that is with no edits, just for the record there. Nick and Gage are laughing, but there, that's no edits. That's, that's pretty legit. Um, got my master's hat on today. Uh, one of the things I love about the Masters had the opportunity to, to visit there this year is the course requires you to hit all types of shots. And that's really what makes a great golf course. And we're playing Spring Creek here today in Harrisburg. Beautiful place. Staff is awesome. Um, and I bring that forward because hole 15 here is different. It's different. This hole is 383 yards. So first of all, I brought my driver and I brought my hybrid. Um, but it's pretty tight off the tee. I've got some trees growing here on the left. And you'll see this at great golf courses where they, they almost kind of force you to hit certain types of shots. You'll notice in the first couple holes I played, I was always teeing up on the left side because we talked about that, where the hazards are at, the out of bounds. But on this hole, I can't do that. If I tee up over here on the left side, I, I'm, I got the trees in my way. So I got to work more here on the right. Also, I've hit a, a decent drive, but I hit one that wasn't very good. I've hit a couple really good hybrids, and the hole's only 383 yards. So I'm going to actually go with the hybrid because I don't need a ton of distance. And so be thinking about that. When you're in the round of golf, just because it's a par four doesn't mean you've got to hit your driver. You know, if the hole's not super long and you can hit a hybrid or a three wood or a five wood and you feel comfortable with that, go for it. Not every par four has got to be a driver. Not every par five has got to be a driver. 383, I can hit this hybrid here. I mean, I just hit it in the last hole about 220. If I can get this out there 220, 225, I've only got 140 yards. I feel more comfortable and confident with it. I'm going with that. So here we go. Right side of the tee box. So I got the trees. I'm going right at the barber pole in the middle of the fairway. Let's get a ball and play and get a short iron in our hands and see what we can get. God, I love these hybrids. Um, I <laughs> three hybrids today, and they've been all really good. 18 degree. Perfect. High little draw. I got a really good feeling about this going to be in the fairway. So, lesson right here. Par 4 doesn't have to be a driver. It could be a 3-wood, a 5-wood, a hybrid, whatever. What are you comfortable with? How's the round going? What clubs have you already hit some good shots with? Eh, it might help you get a little bit better club in your hands. Let's head on up the fairway, see what we got. Okay. I've been waiting for this. Is, this is fun. <laughs> that, that felt really good. Fairway. All right, 100 and a little less than 150 yards. Um, this is what I love golf, man. This is what it's about right here. I got a middle pin, white flag, middle of the green. This is go. This is like, this is a go. Remember the Tom Cruise movie? Hey, fly by, no fly by. This is definitely a fly by right here. We're going all in. So I've got a little less than 150 yards. I'm gonna go nine iron because I'm a little, I'm a little fired up right now. It's one of the other things too you gotta be aware of when you're playing golf. What's your energy level like? Do you feel like you're rolling? You got some excitement, you got some momentum going, you got to gear it up. Maybe you need to club down a little bit. Normally this would be an eight iron for me, but I'm going nine iron because I've just made two really good swings in a row and I got a really easy pin. All right, here we go. I'm going right at it. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. Oh, it felt good. I pulled it just a tad, Nick, but it's going to be just a little long. No, okay. Man, I'm hitting a lot of fringes today. I just tugged it a little bit at the bottom, but I got the right club in my hands. Let's go up and take a look at it. All right, so the actually shot turned out a little bit better than I thought. It's pretty close to pin high, and it was a little left, like I said, and I just tugged it a tad. I could see, I could feel it just release it. So once again, learning to evaluate your game and your shots are an integral part of playing great golf. That's not really a swing mechanic thing. I just, I was a little excited. It was such an easy shot. I just, I just tugged it a little bit at the bottom. It's not something that I'd be concerned about. It's more feel and rhythm. So here we go. Once again, I'm on the fringe. So I'm going with the putter because the fringes here are beautiful. All right, and I've got a pretty severe break from left to right, and then it kind of flattens out here. So I'm going to go ahead and walk it off again real quick, keeping moving. Just because you're reading putts doesn't mean you got to play slow. I can do this quick, all right? Step up, observe it like we learned already, okay? And I'm going to pick a spot out that I want to roll the ball over that's about halfway. So I've got a spot because it's got pretty big break. There's an old pitch mark right here. So I'm going to try to roll it just inside that pitch mark with the right distance. So when you got these big breaking putts, go ahead and break it into two segments and kind of find a spot where you want to roll it over that's about halfway. Let's get the distance right. 
I've got a good feel for the line. Hold your head, baby, hold it. Okay, I'll take that. About 25, 30 feet. Got a nice, easy tap in. I made a really good read. So we learned a couple things on that hole right there. A couple things on the tee box. All right. We had the great shot from the fairway. You got a little too excited, tugged it a little bit. And then green reading, when you got those putts that got a lot of break to them, divide it maybe into two. Find something that you can roll the ball over about halfway in between. And that can help kind of break that down a little bit. All right. We're going to head to the next hole. Beauty of this course, one of the things I love about Spring Creek, three par fives. Got another par five coming up. Let's head on over there.